Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel and today we're going to be talking about the solar panel project for the iMeve. You don't want to miss it, so let's stay tuned. Well guys, we got the Mitsubishi iMeve here and we are going to be doing some solar panel installation going to a solar system with this car. I decided that uh, it's time to upgrade something on it and make it a little bit more... Uh, we can say self-sufficient and I thought about adding solar panels to it. The original idea was to actually have the solar panels connected to the 330 volt battery and then have the sun charge the drive batteries. However, with doing a lot of research in it, it came to be apparent that that would have been a kind of a costly and difficult endeavor. So I decided, talking to some forums and everything, somebody mentioned that why not just put the solar panels and directly put them into the 12 volt system and therefore you're able to reduce the 12 volt DC to DC charging from the dry battery to the 12 volt system. So that's the plan that I'm going to go with. I thought it made sense, it was feasible, it was easy. Uh, again, it's partially solar powered still and it might net me another one or two kilometers on an ideal day. We'll have to find out and see what we've got. But anyway guys, let's go in and check out the panels that I'm using and kind of the area that I'm going to be putting them in and then the control box and everything. So it's kind of a plug and play. Everything I got is from Amazon and I will leave them down in the description below. So yeah, let's go uh, kick the tires of the i even and see what we got for the uh, next modification. Well, here we go. We've got the car, the panels, and the whole project coming together. But anyway, guys, yeah, this is the iMeve again in, the, in part one of this series. I did show that uh, we're putting on the, um, the uh, decals and everything worked out well. I think I'm going to add some decals to it a little bit more, adding a little bit more flavor. But anyway, as time goes on, you'll see that unleashed. But uh, for now, it's all about adding some photovoltaic panels to the roof of the iMeve. So I went to Amazon and I looked at purchasing a set of solar panels. I did see a set that kind of was a little bit pie in the sky in terms of its performance. They were uh, 1200 watt panels, 600 watts each. They give you two panels. And they said, they claimed that they did 600 watts each. Um, talking to a lot of people, they're saying, no, maybe 40 watts on an ideal day. However, I did purchase them, but they never did come. I had problems with the, uh, the shipping. I had problems with the seller, the vendor on Amazon. And talking with them back and forth, I thought, oh, things aren't going uh, too well. So I canceled that, got my money back. Amazon was really good about that. Didn't even take one day to rectify the problem. And then I purchased these, which were lucky enough to come the next day of ordering. Now, these ones are claimed 100 watt panel per panel. So with the iMeve, I can put two panels up on the roof and these fit perfectly and I still have room to spare. So basically this is what I'll be uh, mounting on the roof. Now there are a few mounting options that I saw from a lot of people who uh, install solar panels on their RVs and some went mild to wild. In research and doing what I'm doing with this project, I'm going to keep it simple and just kind of clean up the roof of the iMeve, get a set of good two-way tape, uh, probably from a body shop, and then just set it on with the two-way tape with some vents uh, underneath the panel so we got a little bit of airflow to dissipate any heat. The car is white, so I don't anticipate a lot of heat buildup with the car. And again, the car does sit in Alberta, which has cooler temperatures, especially in, you know, the fall, winter, and spring. But anyway, guys, yeah, so these are the panels. I got two of them. These are the other, this is the other one coming up. It's got all the warning labels and everything. They come with the junction box built in with uh, a bit of a connector. Uh, so basically, this is what you get. You get the uh, instruction manuals, which most of it is in Chinese and uh, good thing it's got picture reference and then it's got the wiring hookup So these will be directly hit to the battery I'll probably change this over and just get a better connection. So they're not quick connects there'd be more permanent connects and then this is just extra wire to run from the panel To wherever they're mounted to the uh, junction box I don't have the junction box here So give me a minute and I will show you the regulator and output box And here we go, the junction box. So this is the controller, which these main wires will come in. They'll hook up to this, 
and then those wires will hook up to this as well and you run into the battery this is the controller solar module controller and it also is the regulator so you're not going to overcharge the battery also comes with two usb ports so if you have to charge anything like your cell phone or any other devices you do have that option as well to charge from the solar system but anyway guys yeah that's kind of what this uh, entails so the panels which i will go up and i'll put one on there and i'll show you what we're doing with uh, the panels and how we are actually looking at um, putting them in terms of positioning right now that's what i'm working on now my brother's a 12 volt technician so he's going to be doing the install i'll be helping them with it and then basically it's decide how the panels are mounted on the roof and then run the wires to the controller from the controller to the battery and then let the solar system do its uh, do its magic. But I'll go and uh, put a panel on and kind of show you the two options that I'm looking at. Alrighty guys, here's the number one option that I'm having is like I said, it's gonna be more towards the rear hatch of the vehicle. Just because the uh, wires will tuck under here and you can run them a lot nicer. So it's more of a clean, easier look. The difference is I'll have to take the wires and run them all the way through the uh, kick panel and then into the junction box, which really isn't that bad. But anyways, that's basically what it'll look like with one panel. There's enough clearance for two panels perfectly. So it's almost made for this. And then uh, in the front here, you'll have quite a bit of space left. So I can even center it up a little bit more, play with it. But that's option number one is getting this panel in this position. And option number two is putting them more forward on the vehicle and then having the wires run through into the uh, door pillar and down the A pillar. So that's another option to have. The one, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, and this is kind of what I, I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna do it. It does have, like I said, this junction box here. So, you know, it'll be hitting a little bit of wind resistance. Again, we're talking very minor stuff, stuff that really isn't an issue. Other than getting the two-way tape, this will sit nice and flat. It does curve, it is flexible. So the amount of curves and flexibility that I'm going to need with the vehicle is uh, not going to be an issue. But uh, that's kind of where it's at. So we'll have the two stripes side by side. I kind of like it like this a little bit, but uh, again, this is what's going to have to be decided upon before the install is there. Well guys, that's basically the project in a nutshell of the equipment that I'm going to be using and basically the positioning of the panels. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you think uh, this project is good, what the outcomes are going to be interesting. Um, I don't know what they're going to be yet. Um, I'm hoping that the uh, solar panel will generate enough power to keep the 12 volt, system, the 12 volt battery charged and therefore we'll be able to run all the 12 volt accessories without draining the dc uh, the, without draining the 330 volt dc drive battery so will it work eh, on ideal days we'll see what that gives me again it depends on how much uh i'm going to be using from the 12 volt system obviously the radio the turn signals and the lighting is always going to be used uh, the optional equipment like the heater and the ac are going to really tax the 12 volt system and we'll see if the solar panels can keep up so this is what the test is all about but anyway guys if you have any experience with this i'd be uh, loving to hear from you uh, if you like this project let me know in the comment section what you think about it and if you have any better ideas on how to attack this i would be all open this is all new for me as i uh, you know dip my toes in the ev water so to speak and uh yeah continue on with it so next episode will be the install and then the monitoring and the performance of it. So anyway guys, if you're new around here, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Cordetti Motorsports. You guys stay loose for now.